So here with me today is Lennart van der Ziel, uh, founder of Travis. Welcome here at Emer Scale Up Cafe. Thanks. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing great. I had some great talks this morning and uh, the five years uh, is, is great. And I'm uh, really looking forward to this uh, interview. So uh, can you tell me, you had some news to share with us. Yeah, indeed we, we, ha we have. Uh, we had a great big uh, launch of our Travis Touch, our 2.0 product this, uh, this summer. Mm -hmm. uh, and of course we keep on focusing on the B2C market uh, as we did. Now mm -hmm. we are now uh, over 120,000 uh, sold uh, and shipped devices. Mm -hmm. uh, but we also chose now to start uh, with doing active B2B sales, okay. uh, focusing on three markets, uh, medical, uh, retail, and uh, tourism and mm -hmm. based focusing first on the Benelux. Okay, so please first so that everybody understands, how do you pitch your company? What I usually say is that we, uh, we facilitate bilingual uh, communication with uh, our own hardware and software. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's a Travis Touch, it's a little device. Do you have it in your pocket yeah. perhaps? Of course, yeah, yeah. here he goes, like a magic trick, right? Yeah. Okay. Have it ready here, a little bit smaller than uh, yeah. than you a, than a, than a little well bit smaller than a phone. Uh, yeah, uh, purposely built for this uh, one occasion. Uh, that's the face-to-face -face, uh, uh, yeah conversation. So if we're doing an interview here right now, you were talking Swahili and I was talking English. Basically, we could do the interview as well. Uh, we could. There would be a little uh, lag time, but only one or two uh, one or two seconds. Okay. Yeah. yeah, for an interview that that seems a little bit awkward. Yeah. So but let's stick to English. Yeah, let's stick to English. Yeah. But you know, if you're talking about, uh, let's say, you're going abroad, you're traveling, and you need to, you know, know the road in, uh, you know, uh, you know, deep deep Africa, yeah. then then it will suffice. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, we have uh, offline languages. Mm -hmm. They are not on the level yet as we online uh, can can provide. Uh, so then, if you, you we always recommend uh, using a SIM card or uh, using uh, Wi-Fi. But offline, we are progressing and we push those updates uh, to all our 120,000 devices worldwide, yeah. constantly. Over the air. Over the air. Yeah. So how many languages do you cover currently? Uh, 105 uh, in total, but uh, 70 uh, voice to voice. So how many languages are there actually in the world? There are 7,000 languages. Oh wow. And uh, so we are not there yet, but we are uh, also digitizing languages ourselves in our foundation. Oh wow! Uh, adding languages to the to the di to the, the amount of languages that is digitized. So how does that work? You raised uh, money, of course, through crowdfunding for your first product, but then you also did a foundation. Uh, why? Um, yeah, because when we uh, launched our product on Indiegogo last year, uh, the first Indiegogo we did, uh, there were a lot of uh, companies, uh, organizations that were coming to us and asked us, okay, do you also have the language of uh, Eritrea, mm -hmm. Tigrinya? And we said, uh, we checked it and we said, no, uh, we don't have it. No one has it. It's not digitized. So we thought, okay, uh, this, is, this, is, this is a bad thing because the language is needed. So yeah. we decided to... And are those languages dying as well? Uh, yeah, they are. They are, of course, there are m a few millions of people speaking uh, uh, Tigrinya, mm -hmm. language of Eritrea. Uh, but we expect that those languages can perhaps die uh, sooner because they are not digitized, so they miss out on opportunities like voice, uh, voice translation. So there's the digital language divide, as we call it. Hmm. So yeah, there's, uh, in the future there can be a big gap between those kind of uh, languages and, and the languages that we all know too yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. So you were also talking about uh, B2B. Yeah. So that's an interesting business model for you. How does that work? Yeah, we... Um, we already on the yeah on on the under the, un, under the surface. We are already doing uh, 30 paid pilots with B two B organizations. Uh, yeah, not strictly B two B, but also uh, hospitals, uh, the Dutch army, police departments, um, uh, corporates. Uh, very big variety of organizations. Yeah. Um, like I have my kidney stones and I they need to be taken out with an emergency in uh, Ukraine. I can talk to the, the, the doctor and he can help me. Yeah, then we can create understanding which is uh, yeah. needed then, yeah. Yeah, so in terms of the business model, uh, do you sort of, do you also sell the devices to them or do you also offer a service platform? Yeah, we are now moving towards a service platform. Mm. So uh, letting those uh, th those hospitals or uh, shops at uh, Street uh, Straat in Amsterdam, let th uh, letting them pay uh, yeah fixed monthly uh, fee, mm -hmm. uh, so we can be there on their desk, uh, creating 
understanding the whole day, but, and then they have just a monthly payment. Yeah, yeah exactly. Smart move. So, uh, in terms of funding, uh, how much did you raise on Indiegogo? In total, uh, in uh, two, two campaigns, we raised 2.3 uh, million. Well, of course, part of that is uh, production costs, but uh, mm -hmm. it, it, it's giving us the runway to do, uh, yeah, to create an ever, ever growing team. We are now mm -hmm. at 23 people uh, in the Travis company mm -hmm. and uh, 10 people, including volunteers in the Travis Foundation. Okay, wow. So, and uh, this, is, this is a nice amount of funding, but do you see yourself raising like a bigger amount uh, in the foreseeable future? Yeah, not, not now, not in this uh, year. And in the course of uh, 2019, we are looking at a 2.5 million uh, uh, equity funding. Oh, uh, wow. And we want to use that partly for, uh, yeah, to, to invest in, our, um, in the development side, so we can create a better Travis Cloud R&D. Um, and also partly in, in B2B uh, sales teams, because yeah, we want to deploy several teams, several markets. Hmm. Uh, we do a lot of marketing, but also just physical sales, field sales, uh, cold calling, all directions actually to go to these uh, to yeah. Yeah, markets. To these markets. So is that enough? Because you know, like big parties as well, uh, perhaps Google, Amazon, Microsoft are looking into this direction as well. Are there competitors in the future or are they already? I mean, Google Translate, yeah. well, it doesn't really work, but okay, yeah. yeah. They, um, we don't see them, yeah, we, we don't really see them as uh, competitors, but they are so big and they have so uh, deep pockets that we, that it, it is always a, th a threat. That's why we're also uh, spreading our risks to go also to B2B, and in the end also m making dedicated devices for, for instance, hotels and for, for hospitals. So we are there with a strong foothold in those uh, markets, but they are capable of, 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 of attacking us, and we always need to be aware of that. Or getting acquired. Indeed. But um, for us, that that is, uh, uh, yeah, for the coming time, that's not something we f we, we focus on. We have this. Oh, this, that's another th thing. It's perhaps nice to to share as our a B hack. It's a little bit uh, of a yeah a, a hype that you have a big hairy goal, mm -hmm. uh, big hairy audacious goal. Yeah, yeah indeed. Uh, and for us, it's uh, the t uh, for it, at in 2022, we want to have five a mi a million uh, Travis devices uh, in use. Yeah, um, creating yeah, hot spots of understanding, as we call it. Call yeah. it. So then, basically, you are the market leader, right? Yeah. So what's up next? Yeah, what's up next? We are really focusing on uh, the coming uh, six months, where we want to have success in the B two B approach. Yeah. So uh, having those uh, ten thousand units uh, per month that we can uh, sell, yeah. um, and then getting that big uh, investment round in big. It's it's considerable. We yeah. also will invest our own money partly in that, in those new new endeavors, and then uh, yeah, growing towards the 2020 uh, audacious, uh, audacious uh, goal, goal where we want to in the end uh, yeah. yeah make the world a better place uh, by connecting people. Okay, great. Thank you so much for this interview. Thank you. Awesome.